to share the stage with some of our panelists or to be put in the position of having to answer in a public forum questions about GMOs or Monsanto's history of operations in these islands. It has also been clear from the many positive responses we received that people in Hawaii take all of these questions seriously and want to see gen genuine, not stage managed discussions of the many issues tonight's topic involves. We consider this panel then an opening volley, a chance to get on the table Monsanto's role in agriculture in the state and agricultural education and research on our campus. That is our objective. And we invite others of you to organize subsequent events that might take up with more depth the many topics that you will hear raised tonight. We believe that it is the ethical responsibility of a public university to have open and frank discussion about the efficacy of research and technology that have the potential to place private profits over the social good and that can serve to antagonize, fragment, disrupt, and in some cases, even destroy the very environment and society in which that research takes place. So we just want to um, close with a few thank yous. Um, we want to thank John Osorio, who is going to moderate tonight's panel, and who, along with Coast Mount Post and the Kamakapu of Kalani Center for Hawaiian Studies, uh, made it possible for us to be here The panelists, um, Keha Watson, Walter Reed, and Tom Amino, um, for agreeing to, to be on tonight's panel. We're really excited to hear what they have to say. Um, we also want to thank the um, Emmy Iko, the Leo reporter, who kind of got <laughs> this whole thing going, uh, the panel anyway, and all committee, Penny Bocker and Tiffany Herbie of the Honolulu Weekly, and Catherine Gann, all of whom provided the reporter inputs for the panel. Um, I also want to thank the Laakea um, Provalo and Knowledge in Motion who set up a viewing of, on Facebook of the world according to Monsanto uh, in coordination with tonight's panel. If uh, you haven't seen that important documentary, you can see it on YouTube. It's in part of the whole thing. It's on part on YouTube. Um, so anyway, without further ado, I want to turn things over to John Osorio who will be introducing and moderating. Hello, my colleagues. It's wonderful to see uh, this room full, and I'm grateful to all of you for coming tonight. I want to make sure that you know that there are more chairs. There's stacks here on the stacks. Those of you who are sitting outside, if you want to come in, I know that there's more room along the sides to set up chairs or along the sides here. Please feel free. Don't worry about um, disturbing the panel as we get as we get rolling. We're going to take a few minutes before we actually start the panel. Um, if you can't hear, <clears throat> please let us know by kind of waving your hand in this direction. I'm going to ask all of the panelists to make sure that when you speak, that you speak into the mic like this, pretty close, and that your microphone is on. There's an on and off switch. Um, the other thing is, we're going to begin um, with the three panelists speaking. Okay, Al Watson will um, speak first, followed by Walter Ritty, and then uh, Kamala Enos. Um, I'm going to introduce each of them just before they speak. Uh, each of the panelists has been asked to provide comments for about 15 to 18 minutes. Um, and Cynthia Franklin will be keeping time, more or less, letting us know when each person has like five minutes left and two minutes left, and then like no minutes left. And it's sort of my job to <coughs> like do that <coughs> over the microphone. Um, we're hoping that the first part of this takes less than an hour um, so that we can leave a good deal of time for response from the, from the audience. And when that happens, I'm going to take one of the microphones and put it up front. And so the second part of this will be asking people to respond uh, to give comments of about two minutes or so, uh, comments and questions that you might have. So, Lastly, before we venture into this, I, I just want to say that um, the purpose of this panel and, and events like this Okalani are, as always, opportunities for the university to interact with uh, the larger, wider community of 
in this case of planting the students of uh, interested uh, activists out in the community. Uh, we hope that you recognize that this place is a holiday for all of us. And for that reason, I'm always um, told that I should remind you, uh, this is a place where foul substances are not allowed. Uh, we don't allow drinking of alcohol here, uh, or uh, smoking of tobacco, uh, or even other less noxious things. <laughs> There are places uh, outside in the parking lot where you can smoke and we hope that you will honor the sacredness of this place. Thank you again for coming. I'm going to begin by introducing our first speaker tonight. Gail Watson is someone I've known for a very long time. I sat on her PhD committee at one point and edited her most recent publication. This is your most recent publication. Yeah. I don't think it is. Um, <laughs> Kehawa, Patricia Kehawa Levy Watson, JD, PhD, um, is a lifelong Mano resident, earned her degrees from Washington State University and the University of Hawaii at Mano. Uh, she's active within the Native Hawaiian community, a member of Ahuhui Kahumanu, Daughters of Hawaii, the Hawaiian Native, Native Hawaiian Park Association, and other Hawaiian organizations, a board member of the Hawaiian Civic Club of Honolulu, uh, also the proud mother of a beautiful son. Says he'll be seven years old when I get some 